beginner's Pilates class today is a class with an emphasis to abdominals. So let's kick off with a gentle warm up. We're going to start off with arms swinging. So reaching up and then swinging backwards. A little bounce at the back, stretching those hamstrings. Just starting off, getting a good old swing through, watching. Make sure that you keep equal weight on both feet and stretching up nice and tall as you come up to the top. That's it, really get a good swing there. Start getting the legs to the ground, having a good old stretch at the back and all the way up to the top, really stretch up. Get that cardiovascular system going. Excellent, three more. Well done. Okay, coming to rest. Good arm stretch now, linking the hands together, pushing out long. And as you push out long, push out all the way up to the top. Keeping that head and neck nice and tall and long through the neck and then pushing out as you come back down again. We're going to do three repeats of this. So two more. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed off and pushing out all the way up. Keep that pressure on as you push out. You might feel a little bit more warming through the forearms. That's absolutely fine, but don't make anything sore. And back down again. And one more. We're going to stay up at the top on this one and bend over to the left hand side. Push long through those hands, so we're arcing through, and then over to the other side. Push long all the way as you come over, and twice more over to each side. Good. If you can't link your hands like that and you're on, uh, it's uncomfortable, then just grab hold of your, of your wrist on one hand and then the, or the other. And back to centre, push out as you come back down again. We're going into corkscrew, we're going to stretch out a little bit more through. So stand with a, a wide-ish stance through your feet and thumbs pointing outwards, raising your arms all the way up. Keep them pointing to the ceiling, drop your hands in bow down behind your head, keep those elbows wide and then stretching back up and pushing back down again. And again, push out as you go up. Keep those elbows wide as you sink your hands down behind your head. And again, stretch up all the way down. One more. Stretching, stretching, stretching. Keep those bottoms tucked under. Heads and necks nice and long. And stretching all the way up. And back down. Excellent. Right, let's get into working those abdominals. So, we're going to lie down on your backs on the mat. And we're going to start off with those good old hundreds. Now, called hundreds because you should be able to do 100 by the end, but don't worry if you can only do 20. Sorting yourself out so that your feet and knees are hip width apart. Just go slide those hands down towards your feet and little flaps of those arms. Make sure that you're working from the shoulder. Don't bend the elbows. And you're going to see how many pulses you can do. And as you breathe, you breathe in for five pulses out for five pulses. Seeing if you can get up to 100, but you might well start only on 10. It's your own personal goal on this. Just work as you can, roll yourself back down again if you really need to, and then come back up and start again. So we're just going to do three sets of hundreds, or however many you can do. Might be that you do, uh, do 20 or 30. You'll soon find that it'll build up if you keep working at it. Try and keep your head nice and still so it's not bobbing around. If you find that you're losing form, then make sure you come back down again. We're going to stretch in between each of these sets by pushing the toes away from the hands, stretching out those abdominals. Lovely. And into the next set of hundreds. Okay, make sure that it comes from the arms. Lovely, keep going. Keep your head and chin tucked in. And again, do what you can. I'm beginning to struggle on these hundreds. <laughs> Excellent. These abdominals have taken a bit of a hammering recently. And when you get to your target, do 100. You can see Georgina's beginning to wane a little bit on those last few. <laughs> Stretching back out again. And if you're struggling on those, just go in for the next set and just finish off a little bit early on it, okay? And last set. 
So Georgina's going to do a half set on this one. She's going to do 50 instead of 100. Okay, keep them perfect though. We can, uh, we can reduce the number, but make sure that you keep them perfect. Excellent. Really pump those arms up and down from the shoulder. And then slowly back down again, stretch them out. Excellent. Now we're going to go into crisscross exercise now to work the, uh, the obliques. So, bringing the feet up into the starting position, hands are going to go behind the head, and we're going to aim one shoulder towards the hip. So you're just going to come up into those gentle half ups and down. Lovely. So you're peeling off one corner rather than doing a sit-up. You're aiming the shoulder towards the opposite hip bone, so you're doing that little fold through so that it's really sort of pivoting around the sternum and belly button area. So make sure that you're doing a curl through towards the opposite side. Lovely. We do five to each side. Rest on down, and we're going to stretch those obliques out by rolling the knees over to one side, with the arms outstretched, and then you can extend that top leg to give it a good old stretch through those obliques that have just been working. And over to the other side. Stretch on out. Good. And back to centre for the next set. So curl on in. If you can do five reps so that you're coming through to work those obliques and you're not fatiguing too much, then as I say, don't make anything sore. It should, can ache, but it shouldn't hurt. So keep the same number to each side. Keep repeating one side and then over to the other, alternating through. And then we're going to stretch out again, arms out wide, look to the opposite side of the head and neck and extend that top leg. Excellent. Next abdominal exercise we're going into is scissors. Uh, so we're going to lift, keep one knee still, the other knee is going to come up into tabletop, and then you're going to replace the foot and swap over. Now the idea is that you keep your hips level and stable throughout, so that as you swap over from one leg to the other, your hips don't seesaw. So just keep alternating between one leg and the other. Every so often, just check that you are still remaining centered, so that your back isn't doming each time you lift your leg. If you find that as you lift and lower your leg, that you're arching through your back, then back off and don't go quite so high with the leg. You should be able to lift your leg without your pelvis actually having to activate. Make sure that your tummy muscles are working really hard, belly button's pulled in towards your spine, and that will help stabilize your hips onto your body. Excellent. When you've done five with each leg, we're going to stretch out again by this time hugging the knees in towards the chest and just doing a gentle rock from side to side to massage your low back into the mat. Excellent. Lifting one leg again, one more set. Five with each leg. Now, if you're getting on fine with that, you might want to just add in uh, your arm raises. So, bringing your arms up to point towards the ceiling, just maintaining that position. And again, make sure that you stay stable through here. If you find that that's one step too hard so that you can't maintain the uh, trunk position, then just lower your arms back down by your side again. There's a couple of other variations there to work those. And then again, we're going to hug the knees into the chest and do that nice little rock from side to side just to massage your low back into the mat and go ahead and pop one foot down at a time as you come out of that position. Right, we're going to go over onto your hands and knees now. Okay, and let's drop the crown of the head down, push along through here. 
and give it a good old stretch out. And I'm going to drop the tummy down towards the mat and look up. Excellent. And come back to mid position. Now walk your hands forwards onto the mat. We're going to go over onto your, onto your front. Now the best thing to do is either have a rolled up towel just be underneath your forehead or put your hands into a triangle and put them underneath your forehead. So whichever of those, just to keep your head so that your face stays parallel looking at the floor. Go to stretch out one leg at a time. Now it's really important that you don't work through the low back, but you work through the back of the thigh and the butt muscles so that when you lift, it is purely that part that moves and we're not hinging in through the back. Georgine just does it incorrectly first this time. So working in through here so the whole lot moves. So lifting that leg up and it all moves. That's it, it's actually finding it difficult to do it badly. And then this time it's going to be just purely through the butt muscles. So she's stabilizing up in the mid center and then just working through the butt muscles. Lovely, and back down again. So alternating leg lifts. And relax off in between each one. Recenter and then lift. This is quite a slow exercise, uh, but it's something that really is important that you get this bit stabilized and you work where you should be working. So keep going on that if you're doing okay on that. If you're struggling a little bit, there's a different way of doing it. And you can pop your toes underneath your foot. Straighten that knee so it lifts. Really squeeze in through the butt muscles. And then point your toes to take away the support. And then lower your leg back down again. And by doing it that way, it will encourage you to work the right muscles at the right time. So it might be that that it's the way that you want to do it to start with. Each time, push back, recruit the butt muscles, point and lower, swap feet, toes under, back, point and lower. Uh, and that's a super way to avoid working and recruiting these low back muscles. Okay, let's move on and give the feet and the butt a little bit of a rest while we go on to the upper back. Turn your toes in and your heels out of your legs while they're resting. That will tend to make sure that these stay relaxed while you work the upper body. Go to pop your hands down by your sides, palms up. And we're going to pull the shoulders, keeping the head down and the hands relaxed. Pulling the shoulders back away, squeeze these shoulder blades back down towards your waist. So squeezing in, and then relaxing back down again. So those shoulders are lifting away from the mat. Everything else is staying nice and stable. And back down again. Lifting back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, aiming them down towards the centre of the back, but keeping these bottom muscles nice and, nice and loose like that. Excellent. Keep those heads facing, um, so your face is facing the floor. Well done. Two more. And down. Now we're going to take the hands up above the head. Now if you suffer with shoulder problems, leave your arms down a little bit. Um, don't worry too much about being right up high extended over your head. But otherwise, if your shoulders are okay, we're going to do a little bit similar like that we did with the legs. We're going to do single arm lift this time. So thinking about again, squeezing in through those shoulder blade area to hover that arm up off the, uh, the floor. Now this is a lovely one. If you have been doing a lot of rounding over a desk, then this is an excellent one to do through here. You may even find that your arms feel that, like they're glued to the floor and you can't actually lift them without rolling. Um, that is just because things are so tight through here. So this is a super one to start getting you going on that, but you'll need to start with your arms a little bit further down. Excellent, keep swapping over one arm then the other. Well done. Keep those heads and necks nicely relaxed over onto, onto the, uh, so they're supported on your forehead and alternating arms and relax, relax off. And we're going to push up into child pose, sitting back onto your heels, 
Stretch those arms out right out in front. Wiggling those hands a little bit further forward if you can. And again, this is a lovely one. If you found that your hands did feel like they were glued to the floor, then this is a nice one to start stretching them out. Good. And just come forward so that you're putting your shoulders over your hands again. And then we're going to walk the hands round to the left hand side. And keep the distance between the feet and the knees and the hands and sit back again onto your feet. And that gives you this lovely elongation in through here and this stretching through one side more than the other. And back forwards again and going around to the opposite side. We spend a lot of time with our hands glued in, uh, shoulders glued down. So these are nice where we have our arms right up and the corkscrew exercise with your elbows back we did at the beginning. All working through opening up here and stretching all through these lats and muscles. Lovely. Come back to centre for me. Right, go to tuck your toes underneath your feet. And again, just make sure that you're nice and long through the spine, neck's nice and long. Going to push through the toes, just gently to lift your knees if you can. Then you're going to count to three if you can, and then slowly lower back down again. Now this is, believe it or not, a nice abdominal exercise for you. So just when you thought you'd finished with the abdominals, we're creeping another one in there from a different position. Excellent. And you're aiming to try and keep yourself centred and keep yourself in this lovely position for as long as possible so that three becomes a five becomes a ten. If you struggle with doing this uh, exercise because of your wrists and hands, then you can do the same thing coming into forearm support. So dropping down onto those elbows and again, make sure that you're nice and straight, head and neck nice and straight, and then same thing again, just raising those knees that little bit. Back down. And three more. Will that take us to 10? Mm. Was it counting? <laughs> Lovely. Last one. Right, sit back onto your heels again. Arms wiggle forwards. This time you're going to drop down onto one elbow and twisting round to look under the other armpit. Good, and then the opposite way. Excellent. Coming back to centre, come back onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes underneath, you're going to come up into standing by rolling up. So walk your hands backwards and roll up slowly, tucking your bottom under and stacking up one vertebra at a time as you come up into standing. Excellent. Coming through into the centre of your mats, and we're just going to finish off with a good old stretch through like we did at the beginning, clasping those hands, pushing out and pushing all the way up. So we're going to do three repeats on coming up and down, stretching out those abdominals that have just been working. So pushing up to the ceiling as hard as you can when you get to the top. And as I say, grabbing onto your wrist if your, uh, if your hands don't like being turned inside out. Lovely. And I'm going to go to the last one. Stay up at the top on this one for me. I'm going to tip over to one side and then the other. And over to the other side. And coming back to centre, stay in that position. And then we're going to go around in a big loop. So we're going to go over to one side first and then come down towards your left foot, round to your right foot, all the way around. So if you were drawing a great big circle, on a window and then go in the opposite direction, over first as far as you can, rolling forward, coming all the way through and back up. Excellent. Pushing those arms out to the side as you come down now, all the way down and relax off. 
Well done. That finishes our class for this afternoon.